XJY, your home of rock and roll. I'm back. How are you guys? How's it going? Just in time for a heat wave to just smack us right in the face at the end of the week, which is going to be wonderful. It is almost August, which I know is freaking me out. But uh, yeah, so things are going to be hopping down at the beaches for sure. We'll talk to Peter Pan next. to life. If you happen to be um, at the museum when we took it on the road here recently, and by the way, I'm uh, having meetings hopefully next month with uh, some companies that will help us take it on the road all next year, so it can be seen all over the country. It is truly remarkable, and I want to just show you, uh, this was just one small section uh, of the World War II section and it, it revolves around everything that Oppenheimer did. Um, when we dropped the bomb, uh, we had no idea what it was going to do. We have now in the collection, and this was just uh, purchased, so I have the physical object with me, and I can't give you the, the full, um, I can't read you the whole thing, uh, because I don't have it yet, but it was a, a letter uh, to his mom and dad. Uh, he was the co-pilot of the Nola Gay. He also was asked to keep a calendar, a, you know, a, a TikTok, if you will, minute by minute, what was happening. And I've read the original, and it is unbelievable, but let me give you the summary of it here, because I don't have the original. Briefing at 2400, eating at 0030, mom and dad. We started engines at 0227, we taxied out and took off at 02. We then got off the ground at exactly 245. At the last minute before takeoff, our cruising altitude had been changed, which means possibly rough for trip. Starting out as an uneventful flight, he then continues to record as bomb technicians make final adjustments to his bombs. At 0320, items 1 through 11 were completed by Captain Parsons. In an echo of his hope to fly the mission and his resentment of being relegated to co-pilot, 